Hello, this is Robert Kushner talking about my painting Olympia, Robert and Jose, which I painted in 1983. Uh, shortly before that, I received a letter from the Centre Pompidou regarding an exhibition they were doing called Bonjour, Monsieur Manet, where they were inviting different contemporary artists to do their version of Manet paintings. I selected Olympia because there's something about the shocking gaze of Olympia looking at you that still makes that painting shocking. But I thought, what would make it relevant and still more equally shocking in 1983? And I decided if it was a male prostitute with his houseboy, that carried a sort of panache I had been working with a model, Robert Speller, who uh, had been a Broadway dancer, and he introduced me to Jose Ocampo, who was a Mexican dancer in New York. This large painting, I spread fabric out on the floor. I had acrylic paint, very, very thin, and I painted freehand. I had been doing some preparatory drawings, but I just drew freehand with Japanese brush and this very wet acrylic paint. In terms of the iconography in the Manet painting, the, the maid is presenting a bouquet of roses. I thought it would be appropriate to have it a bunch of gladiolas. I thought that would be sort of humorous. The painting Fallen Angels, 1986, illustrates quite a few changes from three years before. I think that my drawing has more finesse. Also, I was using a wider range of fabrics, particularly Japanese kimonos. I had just learned about and had access to uh, some antique kimonos that I would take apart and use that fabric. And particularly the fabric on the top is a piece of kind of ecclesiastical fabric that someone gave me. And in terms of the angels, I was really interested in drawing from the nude, drawing the figures, but I wanted them to be doing something. I wanted to create a personal iconography, and I was very interested in angels that sort of protect us and look after us. But what if they are tired of being angels? So there's one angel reaching at the top, reaching out to them, offering these two angels to sort of remain angels, but they are bent on going earthwards. Samba class is a little bit before those other two. It's 1981. I was working with Egyptian motifs, and I had this little tiny dish that had three Egyptian musicians with these very stylized positions. And I drew them over and over and over again. So here there are three representations of this Egyptian musician with a lotus flower on her forehead playing what maybe would have turned into a, an oud or some kind of stringed instrument. The colors in paint are green, red, black, purple, and then the three more incredible fabrics, this stretch mylar and bright green, poison green, and really red, red, and then a sequined fabric. So that in each of the three panels are those fabric insets. I would paint on the fabric, we would cut out shapes, and then sew in these found fabrics from behind. But each one has a different arrangement of, of those materials, of the color of the colors. I wanted those to be as gaudy as possible, as um, bold and as questioning in terms of good taste.